Hi, and welcome to the Tough Fish Show. I'm your host, Jen Milius, and I'm so glad that you're here. And today we're going to talk about trusting the creative in you. But before we get started, I would love to invite you to visit jennifermilius.com forward slash start and get your copy of the top 10 tips to shine as a podcast guest. If getting on podcast is something on your radar and you need to hone your skills, get these tips to help you get going in the right direction. And be sure to subscribe, to like, and to share the podcast or show, because when you do that and you share it, you help other people like you to find it as a resource and to let their light shine too. Let's talk about trusting the creative in you. When you're writing or editing your book, you are using your creativity. You are allowing your creativity to help you create worlds, create characters, create story arcs create a transformation, not just for your characters, but for your reader. You get curious and you let your creativity guide. Your creativity is that guide that does help you to write powerful and moving stories, books, and messages. It's your creativity that led you to the path to write a book or to hone your message and realize that you have something you need to share, not just want to share it, but you need to share it. And you followed it through to actually create an output, create something you can share. And it doesn't stop there. Your creativity helps you to move to that next level. It helps you to move to opportunities that are bigger than you. Because when you see that opportunity, you will rise up to meet it. You will see that as an opportunity to hone your skills, to strengthen your skills, and your creativity is going to kick in and it's going to help you do that. It's going to help you succeed at that next level because it sees an opportunity and it's recognizing you have that capability to do that. You have the ability to do even more than what you thought was possible because look at what you've already accomplished just by getting started, just by following those initial nudges of your creativity. And as you reach that next level, a new level presents itself, right? And then you do it again and you do it again. And it's that iterative process. But that's what I mean. Like that's that little inner voice that you are following that allows that creativity to show. And that's what I did. When that little inner voice inside started nudging about an idea that felt joyful, that felt meaningful, that felt expansive, I tapped into, I followed, and I trusted my creativity to create a service that's an extension of what I do and what I believe and how I work. I know you've heard me to say this before, but it's really important to repeat again. <laughs> and I believe that if a story has come to you, if it's on your heart to write, then there's somebody out there who needs to read that. They need to hear that message and they need to hear that message from you. I also believe that once you hit publish, you're not done, that that's actually the start of a whole new level, right? So you've completed one level and now you're moving into a whole new level, a new level that opens up to you and you really need to be more visible. You need to let your light shine so that those readers that you knew you'd had to write for, the, those readers who are wanting to read your book, they know that the book is out there. They know you are out there. They need to hear your message. They need to hear what you wrote but they need to know because you are out talking about your book. You're out talking about your message and you're getting visible and sharing your light. You know, as I followed my instincts and my creativity to create this service, the name that came to me is author stylist. And it's a term I made up, <laughs> but it's perfect for me because how I define it is a creative entrepreneur who helps authors creatives and other introverts to share their inner greatness so that they are comfortable letting their light shine, communicating their messages and getting visible. One of my main messages in my business is about owning your space at the table and letting your light shine, owning your space because you are the only person with your gifts and your talents and your abilities. So when you are given that gift, it is incumbent upon you to share them even if you aren't sure about how to do all of it, it is still your gifts and your unique perspective that needs to be shared. During my 20 years in corporate, I ran oversight for dozens of trade shows 
as well as attended hundreds of shows as a booth attendant. I partnered with senior leadership for their keynote communications, and sometimes it was helping them with content. Sometimes it was guiding how to present that material and present themselves. And since I started my business in August 2014, I've hosted over hundreds of book signings and had booths at dozens of huge holiday markets, pet expos for my own books. I've helped authors and creatives and other introverts move to their next level, when it was whether it was through coaching or developmental editing, refining keynote speeches, instructions through course or workshops, or even having them on the Tough Fish show. And when I work with someone, I want that deep transformation for them where they can see how far they've come and they can feel the results that they wanted to achieve, that they can feel all of that building inside and it is joyful for them and it is real and it is longer lasting. And although I know author stylist, I said it before, it is not an official description in the dictionary, but it's a perfect way to describe me and this service and allowing that creativity within to shine and be the guide. I am a big believer that if the story came to you, it must come through you. So if you're in the middle of writing that first draft, keep writing. If you're in the middle of edits, keep refining. And no matter where you are in the process, but especially after you have hit publish, keep talking and keep sharing your book and message. Visit jennifermelias.com forward slash stylist to see if this is perfect for where you are now. And if it is, book a free consult call so that we can talk and see what's possible. Thank you again for listening. I'm so glad you were here today. Keep putting yourself out there because your message needs to be shared. And the people who need to hear that message most, they're waiting for you because when you share it with them, they will not only take that on board, but it will have a ripple effect because they will be able to inspire others too. And it started with you. It started with you stepping up to your next level of genius and sharing yours because in you doing so, you shined a light that let them see what's possible for them too. Until next time, talk to you soon.